In this tutorial, I will show you how to take all of your old URLs from your previous website and import them into Shopping Cart Elite so you don't lose the ranking and the traffic that you have already been getting. So first step we want to do is we want to make sure that we have Google Webmaster Tools on our old domain name. So this is before you actually transfer your domain name into Shopping Cart Elite. We want to keep it on the old system with the old pages in place so it's still getting traffic from the old provider. Once you have your Webmaster Tools verified, we're going to access this domain and we're going to take all of our internal links and we're going to download all internal links into an Excel sheet. So we're going to download all 289,122. The second step we're going to do is we're going to make sure that all of the links that are pointing to our website are also a part of all those internal links just in case. So we're going to download all the external links as well. Finally, we're going to go to the diagnostics where it says crawl errors and we're going to export all of the different crawl errors because those are probably not a part of our internal links and we're going to put them in our new shopping cart and redirect them to the appropriate page. So I want to export all errors on this site into one spreadsheet. Now that I have all three files exported, I'm going to combine all the links into one big spreadsheet so I can import it into Shopping Cart Elite. So I'm just going to take all the links and I'm going to make them all into one spreadsheet. Now don't worry about having duplicate links because when you import it into Shopping Cart Elite, all duplicates will automatically be removed. Okay, so I just went ahead and combined all the spreadsheets into one and I ended up with approximately 40,000 links. Now one of the things I want to do is I want to separate my articles from my product pages. And the reason I want to do that because inside Shopping Cart Elite I can map articles and products separately. And because Shopping Cart Elite will automate the mapping for me, I want to make sure that I tell Shopping Cart Elite the appropriate locations of both the products and the articles. So I know for a fact that this is how my URL looks when it's product page and all the articles have a friendly URL with the actual name so I'm just going to take all of them and I'm just going to just scroll all the way down to make sure I'm not missing anything here and I'm going to separate them out so I will have the article separate from the products. Okay so now I'm done and I'm going to save it articles and I have the products separate. This is going to be called products. Now keep in mind that you want to have all the products in the Shopping Cart Elite back office and all the articles in the Shopping Cart Elite back office otherwise this is not going to work. So it's very important that you add all the products and add all the articles into the Shopping Cart Elite system before you start mapping the URLs because otherwise there's nothing to really map. You can only map to the home page and Google specifically tells you not to map to the home page. Try to map to relevant URLs so if you have a new URL for the new product make sure the old URL points to the new URL. So now we are ready to import all the stuff into the Shopping Cart Elite 301 redirect engine. Now you go to Store Management Settings. We're going to click on Website. We're going to click on 404 redirect. And now we can do different things on the screen. So let me just quickly note on what all those features are. We have the target if we're importing product URLs or article URLs. We have the import URL button, remove URLs. We have map products and obviously there will be map articles. So we can say map checked groups, map all groups, map not mapped groups. So what the groups are is all the URLs are single URLs so one group equals one URL unless you make a group pattern. Now what that means is let me show you an example here. 
So let me show you a URL which would be considered a part of a group. So here we go. We see that there is a URL which ends with ID equals 2584. Now 2584 is the product URL. Everything after that is just a pre-selected model. So we want to say that anything that comes after 2584 should be grouped with 2584 so I don't have to map that URL. This way I can minimize how much stuff I need to actually map. And if I group that pattern of a URL, then my one group will no longer equal one link. It, it might equal 100 links, 1,000 links, whatever I grouped into it. So basically, there will be instances where I have the same product page and I can group it together. And this is basically where the pattern comes in. So let me start by importing all the product URLs first. You want to make sure that if it's not a text file, you select the CSV file, Products, and instantly we see that all of these are now in. And notice that it took out all the duplicates and it actually found 1,309 unique URLs here. Now, I'm not going to do the pattern. I'm just going to say Map All Groups. So basically it's going to go out to this URL read its title, read its meta tags, and then go back to our website, the new Shopping Curly website, and see if it can find any relevant products and basically pre-fill a choice. If it can't find anything, the default choice will be home page. If it can find it, it's going to have the other choice of whatever it found, or you can do a custom search and manually find the item you're looking for. So in this example, whenever there's a red dot, that means that this page has been spidered. And if you mouse over it, you will see that it says F1 Style Fenders. This is the title tag on this page. Now, on the product destination, if it finds something very relevant, it will select it for you. If it doesn't, it's going to give you a choice. So the blank, it shows you that it found some products on the website. One was F F1 Style Mirrors, one was F1 Style Fenders. And you can select which one you want to map it to. And in most cases, if it finds 100% relevancy or very close to that, it will map it for you. If you have just too many URLs to work with and you just want to put everything in there that you can find, you go to Map Products, Prefill Empty Dropdowns with First Choice, and it's going to prefill all the dropdowns with First Choice. If it's blank, it's going to automatically go to the home page. So basically, once you map all the destinations from the old URLs to the new URLs, now whenever somebody visits this particular URL on your website, they will automatically be 301 redirected to this other URL that you mapped it to. You can map the products on the articles. You can remove the URLs if these are no longer applicable. And you can add patterns. The patterns are added using the regular expression language. If you're not familiar with it, you can Google it. And this is how this tool works.